Hey everybody, welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon, and in tonight's video, I've got for you guys 10 classic cars for sale on the internet, and they're all Fords. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, some of you. I don't like Fords. I think that stands for Found on Road Dead. But either way, I think it's going to be a great video tonight, and I'm going to try to do a new video for each line of cars probably within the next month toward the end of the year. You Mopar guys, because I'll have some of that. I'll have some Chevrolets. It's going to be great. Also in tonight's video, we're going to find out who won the little 62 Corvette matchbox car. And we'll be giving away another diecast car at the end of this episode as well. So stay tuned for that. Wow, look at the two teaser cars at the bottom of this screen. They're in tonight's video. If you see any cars in the video tonight that you're interested in trying to contact someone to see about buying, all you have to do is go over into the video's description, click on the title of the video, the description will pop up, click on the word more, and then scroll down to where you see that car listed. There should be a link right under that. Click on that link and it'll take you straight to the ad where the car is at for sale. Now, if that ad does not pop up, that means that possibly that car has already been sold. Some of these things are so cheap, they just don't stay on here long. All right, let's get into the video with number one, 1969 Ford Mustang listed in Milford, Michigan for $14,500. Up for sale is a beautiful black 1969 Ford Mustang at a very reasonable asking price of $14,500. This Mustang has an original 96,845 miles and it runs and drives great. It features a straight six-cylinder engine and has a manual transmission with a floor shifter. The beautiful paint job features gloss black paint accented with a gold racing stripe. An awesome matching black and gold custom interior really complements the car overall. The body is solid, the glass is all good, and everything electrical works great. This Mustang has been upgraded with a new battery, a new carburetor, new alternator, and much, much more. It is perfect for cruising, and it is ready for any Mustang meets. Comes with a clean title, asking $14,500 or best offer. And if you don't see a car in tonight's video that you're interested in, I invite you to cordially check out the other posted videos because there are still a lot of great cars in those videos up for sale. And who knows, you could just find your dream car in one of those. Okay, let's check out number two. 1935 Ford Model 46 sedan listed in McMinnville, Tennessee for $28,000. Up for sale is an amazing black 1935 Ford Model 46 two-door sedan with just 215 miles driven since restoration. It is powered by an 85 horsepower 221 cubic inch flathead V8 engine with three-speed manual transmission. This 35 Ford sedan runs and drives very nicely and is a real head turner when driving down the street. The body is an all-steel body that is very solid and straight. The gloss black paint job is in excellent condition, and the off-white interior was restored back along the lines of the original pattern, making it look as if it just came from the factory. This car is ready for show or go. You could not restore a 1935 Ford for the asking price 
of twenty-eight thousand or best offer. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? You think you could restore it cheaper, or you think that's a great deal? Let me know in the comments for fun, and we'll see what everybody's got to say. If you haven't done so yet, please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell because you want to be some of the earliest ones to be able to look at these cars coming up for sale in these videos. And if you don't have that notification bell on, you won't get notified when the video drops. Let's check out number three. 1926 Ford Model Touring listed in Kiwana, Tennessee for $6,500. Up for sale is a rare black 1926 Ford Touring automobile. This car is in good 100% original condition. However, the seller has never driven it. The previous owner reportedly drove it into the museum building about five years ago and has been parked there in the dry ever since. The seller purchased the building in contest but has no need for the car. This is probably the closest you will ever come to a near 100% 1929 Ford Touring that is in this incredible condition. The interior really looks nice and the body is straight and solid. This car has a clean title and the asking price for this car is extremely low due to the seller needing to move it. $6,500 a best offer and open to possible trades for something cool except a bike or a boat. Okay, this is the first of three trivia questions. I want to check and see what you guys and gals know about your Ford history. Once I read the question, drop your answer in comments for fun, and we'll see if everybody gets it right at the end of the video. This question is, the very first car that Henry Ford ever built was called a what? So if you know that answer, don't Google if you can stand it and see if you can answer it correctly. Let's look at number four. This one is a 1962 Ford Ranchero listed in Lawrenceburg, Indiana for For sale is a beige 1962 Ford Ranchero that is in great running and driving condition. It does need some light bodywork and new paint job, although the paint looks decent enough to show. The car comes with a 170 motor and a three-speed manual transmission. Several new parts have been installed, including a clutch, pressure plate, throwout bearings, plugs, wires, points, carpet, carburetor, alternator, hose, radiator, thermostat, water pump, battery, leaf springs, front and rear shocks, upper and lower control arms, tie rods, ball joints, and a five lug disc swap up front. The tires are also in good condition. The floors have been redone and the radiator has been recored. The black interior looks good and really sets the look of the car. This is a great asking price of $6,500, especially if you include all of the parts that have been replaced on it. This is a great asking price, and it comes with a clean title. Okay, let's check out trivia question number two. I hope everybody got the first one. But this one is, during World War I, Henry Ford retooled his assembly line to build what type of machinery? So you know that answer, drop it in the comments and we'll check everybody out at the end of the video to see who got what right. Okay, we're approaching the halfway mark of the video with number five. This one is a 1960 Ford Edsel two-door hardtop listed in Kansas City, Missouri for $17,500. It's 1960 Ford Edsel Ranger is a beautiful car that is currently up for sale and can be driven without any issues. It is powered by a 223 cubic inch six cylinder Econo 6 engine that is paired with an automatic transmission. 
It has been restored in a stunning bronze rose paint that complements its tan interior perfectly. This car has been meticulously maintained over the last five years, and the restoration has remained true to the factory appearance inside and out. The paint and body are in excellent condition, and the interior is in top-notch shape, with the seats being perfect, the dash intact, the gauges are clear and functional, and the door panels, carpet, and headliner all look great. The trunk is finished in a factory appearance, and mechanically, this car is very sound. All receipts for the past five years for routine and scheduled maintenance have been logged and kept with the car. This car comes with two binder full of receipts. The seller is asking for $17,500 or best offer for this rare 1960 Ford Edsel two-door hardtop. Ho, 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 Santa here. And just a reminder, if you haven't checked out the American Rod Shop store, go over into the description and there you'll find a link to the store where you can find all kinds of great Christmas presents such as t-shirts, coffee mugs, mouse pads, hoodies, and much more. And the sale of each one of these helps support this channel. Plus, ho, 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 makes my job a much easier one. Thank you, Santa. And here's a present you will not have to deliver. Let's find out who won this die-cast Matchbox 1962 Corvette that we put up to be given away in the last video. We're going to go over to the raffledash.com website. We'll put in the link to the video, and then we're going to find out who won this car. Congratulations to Patrick T. 6380. Congratulations, Patrick T. You have won this little matchbox car. Contact me within seven days at American Rod Shop at yahoo.com for details, and I'll get your prize out to you. Let's pick back up where we left off at number six 1949 Ford Two Door. Listed in Lynn Creek, Missouri for $10,000. For sale is a beautiful blue 1949 Ford two-door equipped with a rebuilt flathead V8 and automatic transmission. The car had 85,000 original miles at the time of the rebuild and the body remains super straight. The car has been converted to a 12-volt electrical system and boasts a new light gray interior that looks fantastic and is based on the original design. Although the paint and trim are in fair condition, they still display nicely. The car has been lowered and fitted with side pipes that produce a smooth, pleasant sound from the flathead engine. The car comes with a clean Missouri title, and the asking price is $10,000 or best offer. The seller is open to trading for a 1930s coupe. All right, staying true to the Ford theme tonight, we're going to give away in tonight's video this 1936 Ford Coupe Matchbox car. All you got to do to be able to win it, and we'll draw in the next video for it, you just have to be a subscriber, and you have to put the number 36 in the comments section. Be a subscriber and put the number 36 in the comments section, and you'll be entered to win, and we'll draw for it in the next video. Speaking of 1930s coupe, let's check this one out. Number 7, 1930 Ford Model A Coupe, listed in Campbellsville, Kentucky, for $9,500.
Up for sale is a 1930 Ford Model A that is fun to drive and show off to your friends. It is powered by the original four-cylinder engine with 200.5 cubic inches and the original automatic transmission. This five-window coupe has a clean, all-steel body with only 22,000 original miles on the engine. The car is all original except for the paint and the interior. The striking red paint with black fenders make this little coupe stand out from the crowd. The paint is not perfect but displays nicely. The black leather interior based on the original design looks amazing and is very comfortable. This is a solid and great running little coupe that is sure to draw a crowd and turn heads. The car has a clean title and the seller is asking for a low 9500 or a best offer. And guys, let me know in the comments if you think this is a good deal. I believe it is. Tonight's commentary question is this. Have you ever owned a pre-1970 Ford? And if you did, what kind? I'm talking anywhere from pre-1970 all the way back to the 1930s. If you had a Ford that you loved, put it in the comments. Let us know about it. It'd be great and fun to read. Number eight is a Ford that everyone always loves me to list. 1963 Ford Econoline van listed in Mars, Illinois for $14,500. Up for sale is this dark blue 1963 Ford Econoline van with 42,221 original miles and it runs and drives good. It's powered by the original six cylinder with a three speed manual transmission on the column. The tires are in great shape and this van has been given a new battery, new fuel pump, new fuel filter, new fuel tank and a new exhaust system. It has manual steering and manual brakes. The body is solid and straight and the paint is glossy and in very nice condition. The custom gray interior looks amazing and the glass and electrical system is good. Chrome rims and baby moons top off the look. This title is clean and the seller is asking $14,500 or best offer and is open to any trades of cars from the 1950s. Okay, here's the third and final trivia question about Ford. What design on the Edsel killed its sales in the auto market? If you know that answer, drop it in the comments for fun. And we're about to find out how many of these questions people got right. All right, let's take a look at number nine. 1965 Custom Ford Thunderbird Convertible listed in Riverview, Florida for $10,000. This is a customized purple 1965 Ford Thunderbird convertible that is up for sale by its second owner and it runs and drives perfect. The motor with only 18,320 original miles on it is a strong 390 motor coupled to an automatic transmission. This T-Bird has had new brakes and new tires recently added for reliability along with the custom rims to talk off the customized look. The body is straight and solid and has a new purple paint job recently applied. The original black interior looks incredible and all the glass and electrical items works well. This is a lot of customized T-Bird for a very low asking price of only $10,000 or best offer. And guys, I think this car looks pretty good, but I'm not 100% sure about the color of the paint. You let me know in your comments what you think. Okay, about to hit number 10, but at the end of this video, if you kindly would, let me know what was your favorite Ford in tonight's video. Drop that in the comments, and I'll have a great time reading everybody's response to what their favorite Ford was for tonight. Okay, woohoo, we've made it to number 10, and I appreciate each and every one of you hanging here with me. Let's find out what number 10 is. 1965 Ford Galaxy 500 XL. Listed in Mechanicsville, Virginia for $16,200. Up for sale is this white 1965 Ford Galaxy 500 XL with 130,000 original miles. That is a true survivor with no paint or patchwork ever done. It runs and drives great and is a genuine 500 XL model 
with the bucket seats and the console. It runs on the original 289 V8 engine with an automatic transmission. Recently, the car was fitted with brand new Foos 17-inch wheels and Black Hawk tires sized at 235-60-17. The car is in perfect condition and all features such as the wipers and lights are fully functional. The AC does not work, but the heating system works perfectly fine. The car has been equipped with a new Bluetooth Pioneer radio installed just under the dashboard. The car remains in 99% of the original form and nothing has been altered. The front brakes have been upgraded to disc brakes and the original hubs and fender skirts are kept in the trunk along with some other new parts. This car also comes with the original powder coated wheels with new BFG redline radials and dogfish centers. The car comes with a clean title and the seller is asking $16,200 or best offer. And guys, to buy one to straight drive off the lot, I think this is an incredible deal. Okay, here's the answers to the trivia questions. In 1896, Ford built his very first car, and it was called a quadricycle. Answer number two. During World War I, Ford retooled his assembly line to create airplane engines for the war effort. Number three, the horse collar grill. This was deemed a most unattractive feature on this car and it began to hurt the sales of this car when it debuted. Another video in the wraps guys. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for tuning in and viewing the video tonight. I want to thank each and every one of you and I want to say God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you guys in the next video. And it's going to be a good one. It's going to be all 1967 cars, which I think was the best year of any designs of the cars at all. Tune in for that. It's going to be good.